Hello, in this video we'll introduce the frame analysis module for strated and braced excavations in our software DeepX. We'll start using the model wizard so we can cre quickly create a model. We'll keep English units here. Click OK. To keep this fast, we'll select the limit equilibrium analysis method. We'll use FHW earth pressures and select the Californian Trenching and Manual 2011 approach. We'll click Next. We'll create a 30-foot excavation. We'll assume a 50-foot wall length. We'll create an excavation that is uh, 45 feet wide. Top of elevation 0. Ground water at elevation minus 10. We'll select a strat excavation with braces and we'll space the strats at 15 feet of center. The excavation width on the second dimension will make it 90 feet. We can click edit soil types to change our soil types. These are some predefined soils here and then click edit borings. We'll select the yes we're defining basically top of layer elevations, so here we have two sands that we're using. Next, <coughs> on the wall, we'll click Edit Section Data, and we'll switch to a second pile wall. We'll change the width of the piles to 2.5 feet, and the horizontal spacing to 4 feet. You can change the concrete that's being used and for the unreinforced piles. We'll start off with a W18 by 97. We'll select no, we, so we won't change the dimensions here. This active and passive widths determine the, how the pressures are calculated below your excavation subgrade. If we click OK, that's our wall. Click Next. While we can define the support elevations here, we'll select automatic elevations and we'll equal the space two levels of supports. We will not use a strip load on the surcharges. Click next and select the US allowable stress design for steel. And OK. Now this uh, the program automatically created a braced excavation for us. If we say we didn't like this braced excavation layout, we can go on top, we have the three stages representing our excavation progress. So we could go and delete some of this supports. And we can go in the 3D and draw a strat from one whaler to another and change the exact offset from the nodes that are shown here and here. We can draw another <coughs> similarly we'll have to do that for the last level So we can also draw another strat. We're just changing the offset to 25 feet. Now you'll see here, the program is showing you the lowest support level, so we're working at elevation minus 19. If we go to base model, this is what our excavation looks like. We'll go in the analysis and we'll switch from hydrostatic water pressures to simplified flow. So with this we're ready to analyze everything. We press calculate all design sections. 
the program came back with a summary of results for all stages displacement, settlement, wall moments, per foot of wall, the structural checks on the wall in terms of uh, maximum moment to design capacity, shear checks, support reactions, as well as safety factors for wall embedment and for hydraulic heave. We can see the results by going to one design section for each stage for the left or the right wall. If we click the 3D strut whalers, we can see the results for the whalers. We can see some of the whalers are overstressed. And we can also see the results for the struts. We can also select individual whalers to check their results in terms of bending moments and stress checks, as well as struts. And if we go to cost estimate, the program estimates the cost of the excavation wall costs. There are, more, there are more options there, we'll discuss them in a few minutes. The support cost, whalers, excavation and so on. So these are estimates but they give you the quantities and the, you can make a nice comparison between alternatives here. You can click exit and when we exit this we can see the support reactions, the bending moments on the walls on stage 3 we can also see them for the other stages. By clicking show envelope, we can see the envelope from all the reactions. If we go to design sections here, on the view, we can take out dimensions, soil properties, and so on. If we go to 3D and click on the project plan, we can see the bending moments on the whalers, the shears, the axial load, as well as the net loading. You can zoom in with the roller button, move left or right if you press the roller button. We can also see the stress checks on the whalers, on the struts, and on the whalers. And the red points here basically indicate where we have exceeded the capacity of the, of the whalers. So what we'll do is we're going to optimize all of this. Now with the wizard, the program has basically used the same sections for all the struts, but we could theoretically explode this uh, frame and explode every whaler and every strut, and this way the program can optimize each individual item separately. So let's select to optimize all. We'll wait a few minutes here. The program will be looking through all available steel pipe sections for the struts because we're using pipes right now and uh, steel beams and it will try and propose the 10 most effective steel pipes as well as the 10 most effective whaler sections. Now what we can see on the screen is we can see the re stress ratios for the struts They're shown as basically this ratio 0 0.194, 0 0.297, and this means that we're only util utilizing 30% of the capacity of the assumed steel section. So coming back to the whalers, the program is proposing that the W21 by 111 is the most effective. Let's select something a little bit more comfortable. We'll select the W24 by 117. So we optimized the whalers from a W12 by 106 to a W24 by 117. And then we can choose the struts. The optimum section is a 16 inch pipe by 0 0.375 wall. We can select OK. And for the second level, the optimum is 14 inch, we can still select the same like a 16 inch section <coughs> or select a 12 inch pipe by half an inch thickness. We've optimized our struts 
And now we'll just re reanalyze the frame analysis to make sure that we don't get any stress checks that are exceeding the unity. If you right click on any strat, you can show calculations. And the program will show you the stress checks and the capacity calculations for this strat. Similarly, for the whalers, I guess we got a small bug there, we have to take a look. <coughs> we can select show full calculations as well. And you can also double click on the strats, change the locations, edit the sections, and when that strat is activated or not. There's also a 3D view, a, 3, uh, a 3D items tree view, where all the items can be seen. Now if we want to fa further look into the cost options, we can click on cost options here. And here we can select the states and the city to pick up cost estimation factors, as well as define strats, tieback cost, installation material. So this way you can customize your individual costs. Some, uh, factors, some factors and values can be picked up from our database. You can include the watering costs. And you can set these cost settings as default. Or if you go here on the city, on the first tab, you can save this as a, def as a cost file and you can reload it at any time. Thank you for watching this video. Let us know if you have any questions. Please sign up on our website at www.deepexcavation.com so you can get a free demonstration. Thank you very much.